All right, so I just want to start off with saying that I'm not a dumb. Yeah. I promise I'm not. The title of this video may lead you to believe I'm a dumb. Yeah. But I'm not a dumb. I'm a little bit of a dumb, but I'm not that big of a dumb. I just don't have a backbone. Anyway, let's get this video started. Hey, so I'm editing this video and I just want to say it's a train wreck in the first two minutes because um, I had my camera in the wrong mode. I had it in portrait mode, which is for photos and not in video mode, which is for videos. So like in the first two minutes, my face is really like not focused. The background's focused, which is pretty, I guess, but um, my face wasn't. And so it took me like two minutes until I actually tapped on my face for it to focus. So ignore that. That was the user. <laughs> um, but yeah, go ahead and watch the rest of the video. Thanks. I work at Comfort Suites. I've worked there since June of 2018. I started June of 2018. Um, and so I met this woman. She doesn't stay there at all. Like she just comes every night and gets on the computer. And she's been doing that. They said she's been doing that for like a year and a half before I even started. So like they just won't tell her to leave even though we're supposed to. But like I wasn't going to be the bad guy. Like they could have done that a year and a half in advance and I wouldn't have had this problem. So technically I'm blaming Comfort Sweets for this problem. But yeah, this lady, she just comes and gets off the computer every night. And after she gets done on the computer, she'll come and she'll talk to us. She'll ask us how our day has been, how our lives have been. You know, like I get to know, I got to know her because she talks to me every night. But the thing is, I didn't really get to know her because like, now that I like think about it, she like never told me like her real name. She never told me anything about her life. Like, I don't even know her real name. She, I'm, she just calls herself so I didn't know her real name and so I thought I knew her but I had no idea who she was but anyway yeah so um all the workers up there came to the conclusion that she was homeless because she lives out of her car and we've known that because like people have like seen her like sleep at like the Planet Fitness parking lot or like the Target parking lot or Walmart parking lot. And also if you ever see her car, like there's only room for her to be in it, like her driver's seat. And beyond that, like the passenger seat and the back seat like is full of like her stuff. Like there's no room for even like a rat to fit in there. I mean, one could probably like slither its way in there, but other than that, like junk is piled up to the ceiling because she lives out of her car. Let's fast forward to this night. It's getting close to Thanksgiving. I was feeling thank, I was feeling giving. So I just gave this lady my car. No, anyway. But yeah, it's getting close to Thanksgiving. Somebody like called in or something. So I had to work the overnight shift, which was 12 to eight, like 12 a.m. to eight in the morning, which is awful. But anyway, I come in at 12. She's still on the computer. She's still just, you know, click, clack, clackety, clack away. Um, but so yeah, and then like shortly after I clock in, she comes up there and she talks to me for a few minutes. And then she says she's tired. She's gonna go home um, and go to bed. And so she walks out the back door. I see her on the camera. Um, so yeah, and then I just go about my regular night. And then about three hours later, it's about like three in the morning. Um, I see her walk in the front door and I'm like, what? I look at her, I said, why are you back? And she says, my tire's flat. I said, oh dang, that's too bad. And she's like, yeah, I tried to like, 
I don't even know what she was saying because she just kept like trying to tell me a story about how she was crawling under the fence at we our building is next to a nursing home so she was like crawling under a fence to like a nursing home I don't know why she was crawling under the fence to go to the nursing home for a flat tire but yeah I should have seen the warning signs I should have seen the red flags red flag red flag um but yeah and then she popped the question she says can I she said can I take your jeep to Walmart to get an air pump I looked at her I was like oh, tell me why the first word out of my mouth was yeah you can you can you can use my jeep to go to Walmart Like, how stupid can one be? So, yeah, I willingly just walked in the back, got my keys, and brought them to the front for her. And I just gave them to her. Like, it was nothing. Like, she was my bestie or, like, my mom or something. I just gave her my keys. And then she walked out with them. Oh, God. No. I'm... And then I saw her pull off, and she headed toward the direction of Walmart, and I was like... I literally, I just, I was like, what the hell did I just do? I said, I'm kind of a dumb. Okay, of course it's like 3.15 in the morning. I, so I started texting two of my friends. I texted Maddie and Brittany. And I was like, oh my God, I just made the most stupid decision of my life. And of course only one of them was awake and it was Brittany. And she's like, what'd you do? And I was like, um, well, I just gave a lady my Jeep. I just let her take it. And she said, what? I said, did I stutter? And yeah, she kind of yelled at me over Snapchat. But I mean, there's nothing I could really do at that point because she had already drove off with my Jeep. Yeah, I started freaking out, obviously, because I just let a lady take my Jeep, and I didn't even know her name. I didn't know anything about her. I just let her take it. Because I didn't have a backbone, and I couldn't tell her no. But yeah, I'm a dumb <laughs> I'm a dumb <laughs> I get it. But yeah, so it had been... Fast forward, um, yeah... It had been like 45 minutes. I kept freaking out. Um, I went to the very back. I went to her car. And I took a picture of her license plate. Like that was going to do anything. I really just sat to myself. And I thought. Yeah they can go to her house. And find her. If she doesn't come back with my Jeep. Because obviously. Her house is her car. Like. Yeah I would just keep like walking out in the middle of the road. I'd be like. Is my Jeep coming back? And I, I was getting stressed the hell out. And so I was like, okay, I'm gonna give it like five more minutes and if she ain't back with my Jeep, then I guess I'm gonna have to call the police. I'm like, but the thing about that is like, what are the police gonna do? Like I willingly, I willingly gave her my Jeep to take. Like what is there that they could do? Like, what are they gonna, they're just gonna laugh in my face and say, you gave it to her. She didn't steal it. But praise God, praise the lamb. He came back, or she came back. Um, She came back with it. I'm really surprised. She came back. <laughs> Yeah, she came back with the Jeep. I really thought she stole it because it took her an hour to get to Walmart. And Walmart's literally like five minutes down the road. <laughs> but yeah. She came back with my Jeep. She's like, I'm sorry it took so long. They only had like one register open and there were a, a big line. I was like, mm-hmm. I was like, I bet she was trying to get it on the black market. But yeah, that is all I have for you today. I'm sorry if I led you on to make it seem like she didn't come back with my Jeep. She came back. It's just 
story time that I'm a dumbass and I let her take it in the first place and I didn't even know her. All right, well, that's all I got for y'all today. Um, I'll be back next week. I'm going to Louisiana tomorrow to visit my friends. So I'll have a vlog for y'all.